Last May, I told you about a WKU professor who had received a grant to use the Wii gaming system to rehabilitate brain injury patients. Now we're following up to see how successful Wii Hab really is. I've spent a lot of years trying to get back what I have lost. It's been nearly 30 years since Mark Effinger suffered a serious brain injury in a car accident. It's so easy to give up. But I just want to be a guy that never gives up. He thought he'd improved all he could until we have came along. This we therapy gives you reflexes you don't even know you have got. For years, the former Evansville sheet metal worker has been here at 21st Century Living Services in Gallatin, Tennessee. This is where WKU professor Dr. Bruce Battles introduced a six-month study on how the we can help people with brain injuries improve their range of motion, memory, and socialization. Any time that we can improve someone's quality of life, it's well worth it. Mark is a prime example of someone that it shows that it can work and does work. In fact, six out of the seven clients using WeHab increased their memory, and three out of seven improved their range of motion. Preliminary data also shows an improvement in socialization. It gives them a, uh, a reason to be competitive, and it also they see the results. They see that they're maybe acting different toward their peers that before they didn't want to sit next to, and now they're enjoying playing games against each other. For people like Mark, the Wii has brought more joy than he thought possible, especially those strolls down memory lane. It reminds me of the good old days I used to bowl when I was young. In a few weeks, 21st Century Assisted Living will begin the second phase of Wii therapy, this time using the Wii Fit. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.